bands, yeah, the bands, yeah, the bands, tell me on. Got bands for my friends, no more. So to make 3D text without any plugins, the first thing we're gonna do is click on new composition and we're just gonna name this 3D text. Next thing we're gonna do is gonna go down to 3D renderer right here and change the renderer to cinema 4D and click OK. We're gonna right click new text and we're just gonna type in shooter. We're gonna go down to the text layer and make it a 3D layer with this little icon right here. If you don't see it, just click on toggle switches. Click on this little drop down and go down to geometry options and we're gonna go down to the extrusion depth. Put this to 100. We're gonna go to the bevel style and we're gonna put angular. We're gonna right click new and we're gonna make a camera. And we're just gonna use the default camera at 35 millimeter now if you click on your camera and hold down c and click and move you can see now we have moving nice. around the camera also if you hold down alt and click on the scroll wheel and move it around you can kind of move around the text however you like now we're gonna be adding in some light so we're just gonna right click new and go down to light and we're gonna be using a parallel light right here and click ok once you've added your light a really easy way to set up your lights if you go down to active camera and you click on top from here now you have a top down angle of the text and from here we can move this light over to the side and put it at kind of like a 45 degree angle onto our text next we're going to add in another light so if we click on our light and control d it'll duplicate and then we're just going to move this over and drag it to the other side click on this center and then put it on this so now if we highlight both now we have some lighting in the front once you're done you can go down to the top and click on active camera now we're going to be adding a environment to our text to give it some really cool colors so we're just gonna right click click on import and click on file and this is where you guys can add in and download any kind of colorful environment that you guys want to use but if you guys want to use some really cool environments these are all my environments inside my environments pack on my store which is down below in the description if you guys want to go check them out we're gonna be making some cool blue text so we're just gonna use this one right here very nice blue once you've added your environment just grab it and put it into its own composition right here and then go back to the main composition grab this composition of your environment put it to the bottom and then right click click on environment layer nothing has happened yet because we have to go down to the text layer and go to material options and go down to reflective intensity and put this all the way up to 100 then you guys can also play around with the specular shininess and bring this up also now if you guys want to animate this scene all you have to do is go down to the camera open this up go to transform and put a keyframe at the beginning for point interest and the position all you have to do is hold down c click and drag and now we can move around the text however we like i think we're gonna do a top down angle to start with and then hold down alt and then click on the scroll wheel put it to the center and then we're gonna go ahead about three or four seconds and then we're gonna hold down c again click and drag so it brings it all the way down like this and then we're just gonna click alt click and bring it to the center we want the camera to ease in at the end so he's got to highlight these ones at the end right click keyframe assistance easy ease and now if we play it back now we have some really cool 3d text if i was gonna be putting this in a video i would definitely add like deep glow or any type of glow of your choice also i'm gonna show you guys how you guys can make really cool animated environments on your text so if we right click import click on file now all of these are animated environments that you guys can add to your text these are also down below in the link in the description on my store if you guys want to go check them out so we just use like neon abstract pink as you can see it's a really cool animated environment you can add and now if you guys want to add this to your text or anything else all you have to do is click on it and repeat the process of adding it to its own composition going back to the 3d text grabbing it putting it above the other environment right click environment layer and then we just turn off the bottom one that we're not using now if you guys want to animate the text inside after effects there's a lot of 3d animation text presets so if you go up to the effects presets and go to animation presets go to presets go to text now inside here you'll see 3d text right here if you click down on this now you have a full line of text animations that you guys can just drag and drop on and play around with so if we just we can just grab one drag it onto the text layer now if we play it back now we have some really cool 3d text without any plugins needed if you guys want to see more tutorials in the future make sure you guys just hit that subscribe button down below and consider watching one of these videos right here and i'll catch you guys in the next video